Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to talk about one of the what's new features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2016, crossing pipe labels for profiles and section views. Users can now label the locations and profile views where pipes and pressure pipes cross an alignment. You can also label the locations and section views where pressure pipes cross a sample line. New properties are available in the Label Style Composer dialog box to support these label types. So let's take a look. You'll see we've got a profile here on the right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom into an area here where we've got some, some crossings. So I'm gonna zoom in and we've got a crossing of a storm pipe and a sewer pipe. And then over here to the right, we've got a water line. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple things. Uh, number one, I'm gonna throw some pipes into the profile view. So I'm gonna grab these structures here and I need to see I'd, I'd like to be able to see what the vertical distance was between them and maybe what the station is of where they cross so let's just grab those pipes and for right now I'll draw those in the profile view and I'll pick my profile view now our water is not crossing our pipe so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the water for now so we got a crossing pipe right here that I'd like to kind of focus on. So this pipe here, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one so it'll clear it up. This pipe here is crossing this pipe here. So this is a storm pipe and a, and a sanitary sewer pipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that up. So again, the new feature that I'm talking about is being able to add a crossing pipe label. So I'm gonna go down here to single part profile and I'll add my crossing storm pipe pipe label okay now I've got my annotation scale just a little bit small let's bump it up to 40 so right there you can see if I grab it and pull it out so that it's out to the side there it gives us the station where it crosses the alignment and it gives us the pipe top elevation and the pipe bottom elevation now, I can label this pipe um, underneath also the sewer pipe just do the same thing hit add and go ahead and select it and then you can see where it crosses the center line alignment at station 7 plus 2390. And it gives us the pipe top elevation and pipe bottom. Now, if we're trying to see if we've got minimum clearance or meeting the minimum clearance requirements, we can take the bottom elevation or the, uh, the bottom of the pipe on the pipe above and look at the, the top of the pipe on the pipe below. You can see if you had the vertical clearance that the code was specifying that you needed. Now we can all we can not only add these labels in profile, but we can add them in a section. So let's look at that. Let's go up and just add a section view real quick. And this is a pretty busy area here where we pulled those pipes before. So let's just throw that out there. So let's go ahead and add a sample line. We'll do it off of the center line alignment here. Go ahead and select the defaults. And I'm just gonna pick, and I'm gonna pick right here where it's crossing that that sewer and the storm. We'll go 50 foot right, 50 foot left and it gives me my sample line. So I'm gonna throw a section view out there of that station. And I'll shrink up my annotation scale again so it doesn't look out of whack. And you can see all of the pipes. So we got storm pipes here on both sides. We've got a sewer pipe and we've got our, our water. So if I was to grab and label this, this pipe here, I could go up into or I could go up and select annotate and I can go down to pipe network and add my pipe network labels we'll go ahead and select standard for our pipe label style and hit add and I'll select my pipe and it tells me that the top elevation is at 1225.59 and the bottom elevation is at 1223.09 now this is the top of the pipe outside and this is the bottom of the pipe outside and again, we could do the same thing with our, our pipe here. Now you can add the station to that. It's just all in the style there. We can also label the pressure pipe. So you had the water main over here on the right um, that was running down the right side of the road. So we can label that too. And this is new in profile view. So I'm gonna add pressure pipe labels. Let's do a single part section. Just leave it standard. We've got that set up the way we want. Again, it's just a style and it gives us our top and our bottom. So I think these are uh, great additions to the labels. Customers have been asking for these and now they have those labels to uh, use in their plan set. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a great day.